morning guys, it's Val. Come down to the south coast and not looking too bad. The weather forecast for today is a few sharp showers. Uh, high, high tide is just before lunch and we've got a low tide about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's set up pretty nice for a hunt today. Now I was going to be going to my roaming field but unfortunately last week I ended up with a little operation on my hip. Uh, so I ended up missing out on my roaming field for this year. Went to see Brian the farmer and he says, Oh, sorry, Malcolm, but we've ploughed and seeded it, so we'll have to wait till next year. So, come down here to Bournemouth for a nice search for the bling bling. So, I'll catch up with you guys down on the beach. See you in a bit. Hi, guys, down on the beach now, and we've got sunrise. The sun's starting to peep its little nose above the horizon there. Conditions don't look too bad. Hopefully the the wind, the tide and the wind have churned up the beach a bit more. There's still a, quite a bit of overburden on the sand there. I'm looking east at the moment. Uh, it's a channel just further down the beach there. I might go and investigate that first. And then in the distance there you've got the old Celtic fort with Heronsbury Head. Quite an ancient settlement that one. I don't know if you can quite see that through the spray. Uh, we're just focusing on it now. Yeah, there's been a, a lot of activity down that end of Celtic, the Roman times, over the years. And today we'll be using the CTX. And this morning I'm going to use the 11 inch coil. Uh, give it a go on the top of the high tide line. So the high tide's just at lunchtime there, and we've got the low tide at 3 o'clock this afternoon. I've got the 17 inch coil with me. Uh, probably put that on this afternoon in the, in the wet sand because the last time we were here. Uh, the fines were quite deep down, uh, so we just need a bit of coverage as well. Also using my trusty old surf phones, got a nice clear signal and they block out the, the wave noise. So I can go into a little world of my own searching along the high tide line and the rest of the beach. So we'll catch up with you guys later on with the fines and hopefully we have a good day. Well guys, that's pretty deep down so it looks like it's going to be one of those days where the Fines are very, very deep. Uh, quite a few bits and pieces of rubbish. The first coin, a little 5p in there, but you can see that's one of the older ones, it's getting quite tarnished. So it looks like there'll be not many finds today, but if they are, they will be deep. Hey, a fish dipping! First one of the day. Yeah, get in. Let's hope that's the first of many. Just for a change, looks like we've got a 20p. Well, I've got a nice strong signal here, sounded like a pound. Let's see if it's a pound. And there he is, look at that. CTX never fails me with that tone. Another pound coin. Go, another three steps, another pound. Doing well today. There we go, another few steps, and we've got another pound in the pouch. Seems to be aligning them along here, so I'll just keep following them. Well, okay, guys, got a bit of a scratchy tone there, and looking on the end of the scoop, I thought I'd find a piece of fishing line, and then I just looked underneath, and we got a bracelet, uh, a necklace, just dangling off there. Let's get. Him. Looked a bit better. Oh, oh. now my feet have got wet again. <laughs> oh well, that's what happens when you search in the wet. Got a nice little necklace, silver, and looks like Denise, Janice, or whatever. A little love heart on it. Well, that's a nice little thing. Same with the chain, chain's broken. Well, we'll get that in the fines pouch and have a good look at that one. Looks like we've got a pair of kamikaze dogs up there. Mr Bassett and Mr Labrador just sitting on the roof there. Marking at everybody going past. A bunny dog. Hi guys! Afternoon hunting. I uh, had a good hunt this morning on the, the high tide line. Got plenty of coins and that nice silver necklace. Uh, I've changed over now the 17 inch coil 
now that the tide is going out, I uh, need a bit of extra depth as the sand that's been washed down off this high tide bank. Did you see that there? And also see uh, plenty of other people out there surfing, having a great time. So hopefully we'll get quite a bit more this afternoon, so I'm heading back up towards Bournemouth. Just going to work up the low tide line. Catch up with you later. Well, first coin in the afternoon for the 17 inch coil, a little 5p from about 7 inches down. Uh, so it shows that it's going, it's going to punch right down on the wet sand here. So we'll carry on along the shoreline towards. Hi guys, just on a little sit down. Uh, we've come from the pier in the distance there and we're heading towards Bournemouth, we're about halfway there now. The low tide's in about what, half an hour, 40 minutes. And it's a bit disappointing really. But two one pound coins, three five p's, a twenty p. That's about it. So hopefully, when the tide does turn a little bit more, uh, I can get out just beyond those uh, ends of the groins. I know there's been a few bits and pieces found over the years out there. So just finish my biscuit off and then get on and see how we get on. Oh, that one was deep, it was about five, six scoops down, and it's another pound. So the 17 inches found the pound. Great end. Hi guys, got this one, two big scoops deep in the wet here, and looks like I've got my first bit of bling. I don't think it's silver, but it does look like it. Come out pretty clean. I think it's an alloy ring, can't see any bits and pieces in it. Looks a recent loss as well. So, get that in the fine pouch in there. Hopefully it's the start of something good. Right, things are a bit quiet but we got 50 p Hi guys, welcome to the review. Uh, good day we had today, good coin shooting day, a few little bits and pieces. Not as much rubbish today, the heavy tide seems to have washed a lot of that away. Still got a, quite a few bits and pieces, bits of rolled up foil, uh, the usual, uh, bottle tops, ring pulls, but if you don't think that rubbish like I said before you will not get the good finds so not too bad today for rubbish but for a coin shooting excellent day today got about 50 coins uh, got that nice ring and we got the uh, twisted wire necklace now I'm not quite sure that's silver but they normally are silver it's a very very fine chain and a few other bits and pieces down there so Success of today for the coin shooting was I found the line of one pound coins I just followed that all the way down to Bournemouth and back again picked up quite a few and One piece five five pieces loads of them. You always find loads of them for some reason But overall it was a, a nice lovely day down on the beach Plenty of things to keep me interested lots of nice dogs down there Which I do love on the beach now because after the 30th of September down at Bournemouth uh, Dogs are out back on the beach. So I quite enjoyed myself down there and also, as you see, you see at the end of the, the video, there was uh, the two kamikaze dogs on top of the local restaurant roof. Um, quite amused by their antics. Uh, I was hoping they weren't going to jump off, so made sure that people were aware inside that the dogs were up there. So hopefully they've been okay. So overall, really enjoyed myself down at Bournemouth. Uh, didn't get any bling bling, but we did get a nice little silver ring. So, Jim Palmer, I'll sign you off for the next hunt. Cheers guys.